Hey guys, I just got home from the gym a little bit ago and decided to make myself a protein shake. And since I was using a new protein, I thought I would do a review on it. I had this sample for Fitness Delight Women's Complete Protein Shake. Now, I've never used anything by Fitness before. This is from Muscle Farm and I have used quite a few of Muscle Farm's products, but never this one. I just want to run down the nutrition label really quick with you. Um, for one serving, which is one packet, it is 90 calories, one and a half grams of fat, three grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein, and then some other vitamins like B12, calcium, iron, magnesium, and potassium. And then what gives this its um, nutritional benefits is that it has a proprietary greens and fruit blend so it has various fruits and vegetables in here like um, artichoke, broccoli, blood orange, cherry, pomegranate, mango, etc. So it does have that in here and then it also has digestive enzymes in it and any protein I use I always make sure has digestive enzymes to help just break things down a little bit better. So this does say that it is a vegetable based protein, but this is not vegan suitable um, because it does have whey isolate in it. And I guess why they call it a vegetable based, it says vegetable based high protein blend. It says it contains a new weight loss innovation, solathin, that helps with making you feel full faster. So I guess that's why they are considering it vegetable based. And I guess what solathin is, it's a potato protein. So yeah, that this is the first time I've ever used anything with solathin, at least that I am aware of. Uh, what I do think about this because of its uh, calories and the amount of protein and everything that you're getting if you're just looking for a snack because you might have like hunger pains between lunch and dinner or even um, if you're like me and you're a late night snacker but you don't want to eat something that isn't good for you um, I think something like this would be really great because it is low calories and it does have 16 grams of protein now for some people who are looking for a product with more protein for when they're at the gym or if they hit the gym pretty hard, I definitely don't think that this would be um, a great option. But just for like a snack or even a post-workout for a light workout, I don't think this would be bad for most people. Now I did mix this up with about, oh, I guess eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk and I'm going to show you what it looks like. If the camera can see in there or not. Um, it actually mixed up really, really well. The, there was no clumps, no lumps, no anything. Um, this is probably one of the best proteins for mixing that I have seen. Um, the taste, like, oh, I guess I forgot to tell you guys the flavor. Vanilla chai is what the flavor is. I am not a big chai person, so when I saw that, I was like, uh, I was already hating on it. But honestly, it just tastes like vanilla. This tastes like any regular vanilla protein out there. So the taste is actually not bad. Like, I could sit here and drink this by itself no problem um or i could add it into like a fruit smoothie or peanut butter smoothie whatever i'm making and i think the flavor would really enhance it so flavor wise i am really highly impressed with fitness kind of curious to try their other flavors now um the only thing that i really don't like and I mean this isn't anything on the actual product itself. I don't like that it is marketed to women. 
like exclusively um, because clearly a man could drink this and they're not gonna like get cooties from it like I don't know <laughs> I just have a problem when it says something like fit miss like this is just for women well please show me what in here makes this just for women I mean I, I see nothing that is going to solely help women and not men so that really irritates me I mean and that clearly in the colors of the packaging are meant to target the women consumers out there so that is actually one reason that I've never tried these the only reason I've tried it is because I got this for free and I wasn't gonna let it go to waste um, but yeah I purposely don't use products like this just for that purpose that there's nothing in here that makes this any better for me than it does for a man uh, it is I understand that it is lower calorie and there is not as much protein in it and I know a lot of men that are working out typically are wanting something with more protein in it or with um, an amino acid profile or something of that nature but for guys out there that are looking for something that is low calorie but contains protein I think this is a good option because you know there are also women out there that are looking for higher protein things too so this wouldn't be an option for them now I just feel like I'm going off on a rant and I'm sorry about that but this does just kind of irk me cost is something that I totally forgot to talk to you guys about I looked over a couple different places on the internet to see what the cost was since I clearly did not buy this myself and where I buy most of my proteins from is from bodybuilding.com and bodybuilding.com had a two pound container which is 36 servings for roughly $29 so not bad that's like 80 cents per serving that's actually pretty good in my opinion um, if you went to the actual fitness website the same product with the same amount of servings, I believe it was like 38, 37 or 38. So a little bit more for the exact same thing. This is why I use bodybuilding.com. And I looked a couple other places um, like Bulu Box, which sends out um, health and wellness samples, which might be where I got this from, can't really remember. Um, theirs was really expensive. It was like $48. So, yeah, $20 less at bodybuilding.com if you guys are interested in this. So cost-wise, if you get it there, I don't think it's bad. Uh, would I use this again? I think I would. The taste is good. It is low calorie, but I wouldn't use this all the time. It just depends on what I'm needing. Like this would be great if I'm at home and just mixing up a smoothie as a snack. I just wish they would change their packaging, but whatever. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, just feel free to ask. And thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any of my other reviews, I will link those down below. See you next time. Bye.